Hi. I was reading an important statistics uh, recently and I want to share that with you all of you. Imagine that we are going to live 100 years. Normally people say shatamanam bhavati means you need to be happily living, healthily living up to 100 years, which is next to impossible in this 21st century. Maybe at this point in time living 70 years after that, any one day is a bonus for us. 70 years, if you are able to live happily, healthily, I think it is done. So, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90 years. Let us take this much time that we got on this planet. In this time, we'll be spending one by third of it in the office or in business or pursuing our professional goals. And the rest of it will be sleeping uh, most of the time. We'll be spending some time for eating, in the washroom for dressing up and then traveling, standing in line, opening up our junk mail. And also thanks to this mobile, that YouTube, Facebook and Instagram that you have got and the friends you have got. If you take out all that, maybe 10 to 15 years is effective time that we may be living on this planet. So if somebody says that I want to win Nobel Prize, I want to become a Bharata Ratna, I want to become number one in this particular field, right? I want to make a lot of money. I want to leave my footprints in the sands of time. I want to become a role model. If somebody says we only have 10 to 15 years effectively when we are conscious, when you are alert, we are spending time. And then in this time, how many hours we spend time in going to school or a college? Most of us, we spend time to go to school and college. The moment we get a job, we stop reading. And the moment and now we settle down in a profession business, we stop reading. But one thing that we need to develop one habit is that you just look at your whole one day inventory from the moment we got up till the time you went to sleep. And now the time that you spend in the car, in the bus, in the train that you travel, or you are standing in a queue, you are in the shopping mall, or you are waiting to get into a movie hall, wherever you keep going, you, know, you keep wasting some time. So one of the best habits that you can do is, wherever you go, carry a book with you, one book with you. Whether it is an airport, you need to report at least one and a half hour before, and half an hour you will finish for check-in and our security. One hour before you will be waiting at the boarding gate. And do what? Looking at this woman, looking at that man. Instead of that, if you have a book, and then one book, one page, one sentence, and one idea can change our life. So wherever you go, it is not something very extraordinary, but you can carry a book with you because one little idea is really going to help you. So the way we don't miss our meal every day, we have to have a breakfast, lunch, dinner. The way we hit the gym like that, you need to give food for our brain because what it thinks, what ideas it generates is what we are going to become in life. So you want to become number one, there is no nothing that you can do except that you need to borrow ideas and you and I, the ideas don't come from the heaven. So people, many great people were born before us, many people are born when we are alive right now, many people are born after us. So these ideas are already there. If you can read a book you know, and you are able to get a lifetime experience of an author, what research he has done, he must have read 400 books, write one book. And when you read a book, that means you are getting so many books, knowledge in this one book. If nothing as Jaisima, who will carry a book? It looks too difficult for me to carry a book. At least you know, get one Kindle. Now, one, one thing that you can invest, 25, 30,000 rupees that you can invest and wherever you go, you are in the flight, you are in the train, you are in the bus and you are waiting to meet you know, a friend, you are waiting for an appointment, you are in the railway station, wherever you are and you have this book. So mentally you are active and you are occupied and you don't get irritated, you don't get agitated, you don't get disappointed and you don't get frustrated because you are fruitfully utilizing your time and this time when you get a good idea and then that idea if you can implement, the life can become so beautiful. So you don't have to really think that now today I have to become something great, now tell me a plan. The thing is if you can save one one rupee, it will become you know a big bank. 
if you can save one one drop of water it can become big ocean if you can put one one rock it can become big mountain and if you can save one one minute of your time invested rightly in accumulating knowledge you can become another abdul kalam you can become another isaac newton you can become another cv raman you can become another moksha gunda vishwasharamayya and that is what we all need to do and if you are a parent if you are a teacher if you are an adult you have a guy at home and today this habit of reading books is totally going away so my request to all of you is help children to develop this beautiful habit of reading and anyone who is in love with books and that person can never fail in life right never can fail because the knowledge that you imbibe it is going to come handy when you face life time situation and that's going to really help you a lot so you need to inculcate this habit because this habit is totally going away and if you still want to know how can i read faster i don't have time and you know that we are into uh, memory training we are into speed reading training and i am the only indian with maximum guinness world records and i am the indian memory council president so we do a uh, speed reading training program as well so we will teach you how we can double your reading speed means how can you finish this book reading in just 1 to 2 hours this book how can you do this okay so the moment you go to, go to shamshabad airport the moment you got down chennai airport right within 2 hours okay how can you finish this 400 pages book if i can help you to read would you be happy if you say yes jaisima i want to know more details then why delay call up our numbers and visit my website jaisima.in and then be part of our spirit workshop i would love to see you in the workshop and learn this spreading strategies and make use of every second every minute and i'm sure at the end of the day one page that you are feeding to your brain and that fruitful idea that intellectual input is really going to make you number one in life so that is the bottom line and every second every minute that we have got on this planet make use of it by reading by accumulating by you know gathering as much knowledge as much wisdom as possible and that's the only way you can become number one life okay so this is kwan jaisima signing off see you again in the next you know video until then thank you so much love you all bye bye